Greetings and good health to you out there during this difficult time of COVID. And welcome to another issue of Open Up with myself, Salo Marke Kangubin. As always, we start with nuggets of wisdom. And today we get them from a movie by Rocky, by Sylvester Stallone. Uh, Rocky Balboa, and he says, it is not about how hard you can hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. And my guest today is definitely in that place where they get hit and get hit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please, Welcome with me here. Tolisani, no meva, the wasp, Ndongeni. My brother, welcome. This is in a tank, yeah. How are you, how you doing? How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. And obviously, um, thank you for having me in the show. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, you are right. It's, it's hard. <laughs> yeah. I'm one of those. <laughs> I'll tell you, I mean, it's one sport I only want once. <laughs> I'm <laughs> 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 yeah. That's this is not for me. Not for and besides, I've got a pretty face. <laughs> and also, if you are a coward, I will know. You would be coward. And there was a strategy. And I'm a in the army. I'm a strategy. I mean, so you know, we fight with everything. <laughs> Nah. You know, <laughs> uh, Tina, we are very disciplined. Nah. You need to be obviously disciplined. Right. Unga bili ko ala food. So if you went once, our boya it means that's it. Yeah. Something. There's mm. Something. Nah. Yeah. I must share this with you. Uh, what I think eighty one. You were not even an idea. Even you were not even an idea. But now I'm 21 years old. Yeah, but my and God the, was talking to me at the time, you know. The, 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 your God. 1981, yeah. All right. Tell okay. me when I'll be born. All right, okay, all right, okay. When I'll be 21. <laughs> and that, you know? okay, yeah. all right. I'm in 81. First time, and at that time it used to be called a colony. Eastern Cape. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was just one, you know, yeah. like the Cape Colony. So Mexico Colony. Storing a play that keeps in Gand. So it's figure pa, it's London. It's figure pa, and when in Kazan. Jesus. You know, I see how it is. I'm the lady, you know, to be a lap from Pijano, baby, Pujani. Now, it's close on the stars, you know. You know, I'm deplete. Whatever way, you know. But now, here's the thing. You're a suit, you know. You're a suit, you know. If you are refusing, yes. you know what I mean? So, when I'm busy, you know, and it will be a good thing. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go You know, so as I'm pleading, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to so that was my, my first experience, you know, getting into, you know, the Eastern Cape, you know, the Cape Colony then when I went. Beautiful guest. Hey, <laughs> But here you are, for you two. You grow, where, where did you grow up? Where were you born? Where did you grow up? Okay. I was born in Mount Frey in the Eastern Cape. Okay, okay. Pagatis mm Lali. -hmm. Uh, I grew up in East London. Right. A uh, cast is Punza. Okay. A month. Mm -hmm. And later moved to Amalind, but uh, most of my time I've been in is Punza. Okay, yeah. in East London. Selokshin. Ne. Alex. That's it, that yeah. Was, uh, it's survival of the fittest up. And Nongeni School from there. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. and from there, um, mm -hmm. from Great. I think I figure grade three yeah. until grade 12. Grade 12, okay, yeah. all right, okay, all right. So, mm -hmm. so when did the bug go to know, you know, you will be a boxer? When did it start? I, mean, I think when I, I think when I, I think my, my, my stepfather took me, I think I probably was, I think around about nine, ten. Mm -hmm. I think zongi location. Mm -hmm. You're gonna go to 
soccer, right, boxing, right. Especially guys in the no boxing. That's exactly. Yeah, it's London. I mean, it's no. It's London. There's boxing. There's rugby most. Okay. Okay. And then there's soccer. Right. But the, the 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 popular thing is boxing and rugby. Okay. So we all go to all of those. Right. And my first love was rugby. Okay. I used to play rugby a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, because of the things, mm -hmm. um, I started boxing when I was seventeen, but. Before that, mm -hmm. I was a rugby player okay. since from a very young age. All right, okay. And I played soccer mm -hmm. at school because sometimes we were forced to do something. Mm -hmm. I played soccer, I never liked it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, because my father was a soccer player and apparently he was good. Okay. Everyone was expecting me to play soccer, but mm -hmm. I, I, for me it was not working. Right, right, right. I loved rugby and I played rugby mm -hmm. until I joined boxing and I still continued with rugby. Mm -hmm. And then... Uh, when I became a champion in boxing, I had to stop rugby and play boxing. Okay, okay. So, so I started boxing late at the age of 17. 17, yeah. Yes. Usually, I mean, many boxers, of when do they start? I mean, uh, those from that 12 you know. years, yeah. you start being a boxer. You can go to the gym before and yes. play around. Play. Right, right. But right. to actually be a boxer, mm -hmm. a amateur boxer, you start from at the age of 11, 12 years. Okay, all you right. You start boxing. Mm -hmm. 10, 11, 12 years. But mm -hmm. 12 years, you can mm -hmm. start fighting serious because right. you understand now you can box, you can do everything. Mm -hmm. But I was still busy with rugby. I was playing rugby. But I was too small. So mm -hmm. rugby had so many disadvantages for me because they wanted me to be this weight because of my position and stuff. Exactly. Yeah. I couldn't be able mm -hmm. to do those weights. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I ended up focusing on boxing. Mm -hmm. Yes. So your first fight? Um, okay, but, 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 as you mean, what you mean, that's where, that's where it's happening. You know? mean, it was, how did I go to boxing? Boxing, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, my cousin brother was a boxer. Okay. And because it's Kuli Lokshi in Singamachita, and I used to be at least advanced to go, because them Tala go is three years older than me, but right. because in Kuli Lokshi, and then I started being naughty in Semini. Okay. Um... Okay. <laughs> and for three years. All right. Uh, when I came back, he was a champion. And I'm like, Aibu, this person is a champion. That means I'm mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I normally a cooler M Dala Gumba Tala, but him not been back, been <laughs> And then the Mbonya boxing and over. Obviously, when I come back, he was already looking older than me, serious. Mm, and then, Sega in daughter, girl, look almost. Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> yeah. He was from the bush. And he was from the bush. And he was from the I had to carry his bag to the gym. Okay. And then, by taking the bag to the gym every now and then, mm -hmm. I ended up not liking the fact that I'm going to bring the bag and go. Mm -hmm. whatever and come back and take the bag right so i was like i am just gonna stay there no, no, let, let me understand this so basically yeah because they wear this uh, nice clothing suit, brand new. Right, right, right. And, uh, Nepachi, Navata, everything looking nice. Mm -hmm. So he can't carry his, a bag with the suit. Yeah, yeah. So I will be taking that bag. Okay. So I did that until I decided to stay in the gym and put my things in the same bag. And I'm going to train. Okay. It was so scary. I was. It was my first time seeing people train like. Basuete in the room, you can see the steam coming out of someone. You know, the the, yeah, one of the what you doing? Umda pume i. Steam. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it, like it's to, hot. It's to, hot. Yes. About punching the minds, and I was like, this is not real. Yeah. Because I used to play rugby in the field, and we run around, and nothing serious. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But when I got to the boxing gym, it was like yes, yes. yes steam. Yeah. 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 I was like, I'm not going to do it for maybe two to three weeks. Mm -hmm, I was mm -hmm. just watching. And then I would leave and come back and take the bag. Big, yeah. You know, but I decided to just, ah, it's taking me too much time. I will go. And then by the time I just get to my friends, mm -hmm. I still have to go back and check the bag. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I ended up training. And the coach didn't even look at me at the mm -hmm. time because I was not a serious boxer. Yeah, I yeah. didn't even notice that I can be a boxer mm -hmm, mm -hmm. until maybe two to three months mm -hmm. being in the gym mm -hmm. and then I think he noticed but I'm serious about the gym I'm coming every day right yeah. not that he knew I was going to be a champion right right and the focus was my cousin mm -hmm. my cousin was already an amateur champion African champion okay um 
as an amateur and also he was just about to turn professional oh he just turned professional so right. he was mm -hmm. now getting into the paid ranks and starting to so the trainer was focusing mm -hmm. on him most of the time yeah and the other boxers so um i gelled in and then trained and then after some fights amacha luckily my first fight amacha it was a it was a draw i did not lose okay so i got motivated to mm, 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 mm. okay um but going into that ring for the first time for the for first time mm. it was not even a ring it was just like um you know the the the, the desk is okay cold. okay okay yeah, all right so you're going in the you are normally obviously used to the desk but now they are a ring okay you yes yeah the desk, you fight no, but That's who, who organized that that, that, that that was the, the school? The trainers. Oh, the trainers, the trainers. okay. So we okay. always go to fights every Saturdays. All right. And boxing was active, but there were no rings, mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. fancy places like we have now. Yeah, so yeah. So we were just fighting in an old school inside the desks, mm -hmm. and then they make a desk look like a ring. Mm -hmm. Boxers go in there. Mm -hmm. The judges are there, the coaches and the other professional boxers that were there at the time, mm -hmm. they would help to judge us. And right, right, us. right, right. So we grow up in those things, and when you go in there, you win the fight, and people celebrate you, and you're like, yeah, I'm a champion. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then the next thing, they want to see you fight again. That's it. In the village, also the township, they start noticing <clears throat> that this one is fighting. Sometimes they will put a ring in the road, mm -hmm. in our area, you know. Mm -hmm. And then people around will come and watch us boxing. No. So you have to win. That's yeah, yeah exactly. You're yeah. fighting in front of um, the whole area you're living in. Okay, all right. So, and they'll just put a, a ring in the yeah, street. Yeah, a ring in the road. Yeah, well, yeah. they'll just put a ring in the road and then close the road. This mm -hmm. way That's it. Yeah. Either yeah, and then boxes fight. Mm -hmm. It was a nice thing. It was a embarrassing thing if you lose. Mm -hmm. But I was winning and losing, winning and losing. losing but yeah. it's part of the game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I ended up turning professional okay. in 2010. Okay, okay. Yes. Who's your favorite boxers? My favorite boxer mm -hmm. in South Africa or oh, well, well, yeah, well, let's say <laughs> local and then international. Um, local is um, Tingan Tobel. Okay. Tingan Tobel. Why was, Tingan? Uh, because he was, I was a lightweight for a long time. All right, he okay. He was a lightweight mm -hmm. and he is the only boxer in South Africa that managed to win the WPC title. Okay, okay. Yes. And um, so we were role model, yeah, he was my role model, right? But I never watched him fight because I was still young, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. I only know him now and watch the videos, that's it, yeah, yeah. So he's the he's my favorite South African boxer, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. um, according to the, the history that I know of, yeah, him. yeah. And because I never watched about Abu Baby Jack McLaren, La, that's I never it, watched yeah. Vianney Pungu, Go, exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was not there, I was not yeah. interested in boxing, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I only started being interested in boxing when I was into it, which okay. is now when mm -hmm. they already stopped boxing. Mm -hmm. But in America, I am also it's Chris Eubank. Yeah, Chris Eubank is my favorite boxer. Why Chris? <laughs> <laughs> Why Chris? Uh, the style. I, 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 I get Chris. Crazy. Chris is from the from the UK. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Crazy. Why Chris? He's um, he's, he's just a crazy guy. He's got his own unique style. Mm -hmm. He's not like everyone likes Floyd. Uh, yeah, um, Muhammad Ali style. Right, right, right. So that is why we get boxers sometimes trying to be Floyd, trying to be Muhammad Ali. Ali yeah. They don't mm -hmm. even they don't have uh, that uh, style or that culture boxing yeah. Mm -hmm. So everyone likes the same thing that looks that is looking good, but Chris Eubank is just different. He's just trying to win his fight. Nah. And he's just making sure he's got his own unique style that no one can do. It, it. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. So I loved him. All right, okay. Now, wow, wow. <laughs> yeah, I know you shocked me. You so know. I'm just, I, yeah, I, everyone I, is shocked. You're like, yeah, Chris Eubank is you a know. crazy guy. He will just hit you with one mm. punch and instead mm. go like. <laughs> Going into the ring, let's say for the first professional fight for you. And you know, you are aware, this is my first this professional my first. fight. Or oh, let me, let's say title fight. Yeah. This is the first title fight. What's going on in your head? Before I went to my first title fight, it was mm -hmm. obviously four rounds fight, the start of November being a boxer. Yeah. Uh, my first professional fight, it was very interesting. Mm -hmm. It was hard. 
it was a guy that I didn't know. I was fighting because when we were amateurs, we used to go to prison and That's fight it, yeah. the prisoners. Okay, okay. You know, they very fit. They train. They they yeah. stay in the prison all the time. They yeah. do everything that everyone is doing. Doing around. exactly. They yeah. don't have time to move around. To move around and have fun. Stuff. Yeah. So that's the how we, There's no yeah, time for that's, that's, you know, that's how we got tested. <laughs> mm-hmm. Tina is an as amateur. So it's okay. We go and fight prisoners. Mm-hmm. So um, this guy that I fought my first fight with was mm-hmm. from prison. Yeah. So he just um, there were a time where prisoners were getting parole and he was part of those guys mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then he continued with boxing mm-hmm. he turned professional at the same time my first fight was with him we knew each other from Amacha mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I never fought him as an Amacha but I used to fight other guys that he was in prison with Yeah. so it was an, a very interesting fight he believed that he's going to beat me I believe that I'm going to win this fight because I never fought the guy in prison mm-hmm. but I was fighting better guys than him mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know? But he was thinking he's good. Yeah, yeah. So I thought um, it was professional is different. Yeah. Now you used to fight in inside the the the, the desk or maybe the ring sometimes. Yeah. But mm-hmm. outside or in a wall where there's nothing, no mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But now you're fighting in the in, in the, the ring. actual ring. Yeah. Professional ring. There's light. There's TV. Cause my fight, my first fight was on TV. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, it was still Mr. Zim when he was still alive. So okay, okay, okay. Fight. Yes, yes. So, so there's lights. There's everything. There's people paid to watch. You mm-hmm. are under pressure of what are they going to say so, about yeah. me? You know, mm-hmm. and uh, you need to go and perform. You still need to win the fight. But luckily, um, I had a very good guy that was my trainer, mm-hmm. and. Um, he just believed in me. I was never a good boxer. I'm still not a very good boxer in terms of skill, mm-hmm. but I was working hard. Mm-hmm. And um, I, I, when I was still learning boxing, I was trying to make sure that I punch more than anything I can do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because I can't do this fancy boxing of right, yeah, yeah. You know, the attacking and blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. it's only now when I'm experienced that I can do some of the things. Yeah, yeah. Then I was just punching someone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Win the fight. Right. Um, I did that. Mm-hmm. I went to the ring. I fought. Punching, punching only, mm-hmm. and then I won my first fight, mm-hmm. and I won my first fight until I was twenty-five and oh, I won my first twenty-five fights. Wow! So wow. Wow. I was just training hard because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I believe that if you are in boxing mm-hmm. and you have decided to do boxing, you just need to invest your time in it. Yeah, and yeah. Train as much as you can and learn as much as you can. Yeah, but because because you, you, guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, I, I, I don't think even uh, soccer players train like yeah, you guys. They, they don't. Not, they, they don't train even anywhere what we do. They, mm-hmm, not, mm-hmm. they cannot. They mm-hmm. can't survive. Mm-hmm. I can never train with a soccer player. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, I, I don't want to disrespect them, but they're doing nothing compared to what we do. <laughs> By a model. Like, now we're training serious. I know, I know. And um, mm. my first title fight, Yeah. it was... My first time going to 12 rounds, mm-hmm. I was fighting a boxer from Jobek. I was still in Eastern Cape. Mm-hmm. The trainer was uh, the late Nick Durant. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. Nick Durant was very famous at the time. Everyone I know, knew I know, that mm-hmm. If you're fighting Nick Durant's boxer, you are going to mm-hmm. a big fight. Yeah. Like I, had, I, had, I had a very nice uh, in, incident with Nick Durant. Yeah. Um, Nick Durant, um, I was in the U.S., and Philip Ndo was fighting for was fighting there. Jesus Christ. I went in the ring holding <laughs> the belt. <laughs> the belt. <laughs> 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 Philip Ndo. Yeah. He was a very great boxer. Now nah, he was, he was. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So I was fighting um Nick Duran's box. Mm-hmm. I was just not scared because I knew that I was already a bit understanding boxing. Mm-hmm. And, uh, a, 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 a small Anyana experience, mm-hmm. but I was fighting a very experienced guy because the guy that I was fighting was Godfrey Zamande. I think he had 30 something fights mm-hmm. defending his South African title. Right. I was fighting for, I was fighting my ninth fight, if I'm not lying, mm-hmm. nine or tenth fight. So I was still new. Mm-hmm. And it was a good fight, big fight for me. Mm-hmm. The guy was too big for me. He looked big and he looked strong. Mm-hmm. But I knew that. They don't have too much skill, but right. they fit. Mm-hmm. So my game plan was to just punch and run, punch and I did that and I won the title. Mm-hmm. I won it 
almost 12 nil, but maybe one, 10 rounds clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. So it was the biggest fight. I fought a, 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 a lot of big fighters and good fighters in South Africa mm -hmm. earlier in my career. Uh, I fought in Zongifana. Mm -hmm. I fought um, the Malingas, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Patrick Malinga. Yeah, yeah. I fought then champion. I'm a South African champion two times. Wow. I'm a world mm. champion two times. Mm. And I fought many, many good guys. Right, 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 up, right, yeah. right, yeah. Um, I went to America. Mm -hmm. I fought in America, Mexican guys. Mm -hmm. I came back with the wins. I mean, 2016 box of the year in South Africa. So it was just nice. Mm -hmm. Career in boxing, I have my ups and downs. Mm -hmm. I have things that did not uh, go well for me in mm -hmm. boxing so many times. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's a lot. Mm -hmm. Boxing has been good, boxing has been bad. Been bad, yeah. Yeah. And I mean, I mean, I think this is the story the way you were cheated your your your, your boxing earnings. Yes, uh, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm still owed like one million in boxing. Mm -hmm. that I won. There was a tournament that was for South African boxers. Mm -hmm. So we. 16, if I'm not lying, mm -hmm. boxers that were competing. Mm -hmm. I was number one. I was the pound for pound for that 16 boxers. Right. So I was supposed to win one million. Mm -hmm. And uh, till today, I never got the money. So, you know. But who's got to be held? Somebody's got to be responsible for that. Who's hey, responsible? There's so many stories. Mm -hmm. It was called Premier Boxing League. Mm -hmm. It was a very great innovation. It was a very great thing for boxing because it was going to make like boxing change lives. Yeah. Uh, I don't know what happened. Either the Eastern Cape or the guy mm -hmm. did something. So it mm -hmm. was Dixon Mola who was doing the tournament. Mm -hmm. So I don't know who did what, but we never got the money. Mm -hmm. I was supposed to win one million. The other three boxers were supposed to win 3,000 because there were four groups. Mm -hmm. So in these groups, if you are number one of your group, mm -hmm. you'll get 200,000. Right. If you are an overall of everyone, you'll get one million. One million, so yeah. So I was the overall of everyone because I was mm -hmm. knocking people out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my father yeah. used to boast. <laughs> <laughs> to boost. I think he, he, he boxed when I mean he, he was a, f a football player, yes. but I think as a young man he did a bit of boxing and he used to boost with this thing. Yeah, because we know, you know, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. we know where to pull the trigger, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. know where to punch someone, you don't get into unnecessary fights. Yeah. I mean, people who doesn't understand boxing. Mm -hmm. If I'm fighting, if I have to, I can never just fight with someone. But mm -hmm. if I have to fight with someone who doesn't know boxing age. Mm -hmm. So if I'm in Sugar, I'm going to imagine, you know, uh, delay and all yeah. that. I won't fight, but mm -hmm. if I had to get into a fight, I can very, I can easily um, take myself out of everything. Mm -hmm. But when I you will take like maybe my ten minutes to wake up, because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know where to. Yeah. I know where to. I know where to punch mm -hmm. to just collapse. Right. If you are not a boxer, like mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. I know where to punch you so you can just at least not breathe for seconds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then I can run. All the setbacks is bedtime. You know, I mean, it was very interesting because when we met, you know, earlier on, you said, hey, yeah. <laughs> you know. I was about to train, I'm just training, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. So when you wake up, what, you know, what, what is it that you do on a daily basis? Every day. Mm -hmm. um, now, I own a gym. I have a gym in Midrand. Okay. That is my gym. Um, I, I work for Fight Club for two to three years. All right. And then I have decided to buy a franchise from the club. Mm -hmm. So now I have my own gym in Midland. Okay. So I'm running that gym. Mm -hmm. I go there every morning and see I've got guys that are working for me. Right, right. And I also work mm -hmm. in the gym. Then they do my admin also, but I have an admin. Mm -hmm. So I help where I can. And mm -hmm. then whenever I get time, I train. Okay, okay. But okay. I'm training all every day. Every day. Any 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 fights, you know, I'm fighting in the pipeline. Next month, November November twenty eighth. Yeah. I'm fighting. Okay. So yes, I'm started my camp 
this week. Mm-hmm. It's eight weeks. I want, I'm training eight weeks. It takes eight weeks for me to be ready for a fight. Okay. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. But almost many boxers, we train mm-hmm. for a fight two to two, two, at least two to three months time. Right, yeah, yeah. To train for the mm-hmm. next fight. So I'm fighting a guy from Philippines. So they're very strong. Mm-hmm. They fighting, they come for a abo, 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 boy, but who's this guy? Many. <laughs> many pack yours kind of. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm fighting a boxer like that, so I need to be very fit, so I need my eight weeks to be mm-hmm, sharp. Mm-hmm. You know, like when we started, we started with the quote, he uh, got uh, Rocky, Sylvester Stallone, yes. in Rocky, and he says, it is not about how hard you hit, it's about and how hard you can get hit and keep moving. Yes. Have you ever had a situation like that where it's like, you in the bed, you in the bed? Inside and outside the ring. Yeah. Because like I'm telling you, that mm-hmm. the, the quote that you were saying, it says it's not about how hard you can just How hard you hit, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But how hard you can get hit and then still keep moving on. More, yeah. I've been hit so many times in boxing. Mm-hmm. I've been um, underpaid. I've been not paid, like mm-hmm. I just said, the one million. Mm-hmm. I've been in a situation where I feel like I won the fight. Oh, and then I don't win the fight. Mm-hmm. I have two losses in 30, 28, and 30 fights. Yeah. I lost two fights. Mm-hmm. Um, I went to America um, to fight. I've been getting like, you know, we get so many bad treatments. You right. So many, because you are a foreigner in another country, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, it's not mm-hmm. easy. But the most important thing is how are you going to perform yeah how do you night. you know keep yourself yes. up before the fight when you're training for the fight there are so many challenges uh but the most important thing is how much do you want it you know how mm-hmm. much do you want to win mm-hmm. and uh you just keep on working you just keep on moving mm-hmm. uh, i've been in the ring and uh, i fought with patrick malinga in the ring inside the ring mm-hmm. i got knocked in round one mm-hmm. we were fighting 12 rounds mm-hmm. and i managed to come up come back and I knocked him down five times after that. Mm-hmm. But also he was very strong. He did not go anywhere. He mm. came, keep coming, fighting. We fought mm-hmm. until the last round. Mm. But I won the fight. Mm-hmm. So I've been in so many difficulties inside the ring. I fought with a very clever boxer then at the time, which was Mzonge Fana. Mm-hmm. Um, Mzonge Fana was number one in the world. Yeah. And he fought Marco Antonio Barrera. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know? So, and then he fought with me here in South Africa. So I fought with him was very, I was in a very big fight because mm-hmm. I had to think and I have to do like um, react at the same time, you know, mm-hmm. there's a lot of cleverness going inside the ring because this book that I'm fighting is mm-hmm. clever mm-hmm. and I need to be clever more. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. you know, uh, like I said to you, I'm not the cleverest boxer in South Africa. I'm not mm-hmm. the skillful boxer in South yeah, Africa, yeah, but mm-hmm. I'm, I know how to win. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's the only thing I know. Mm-hmm. I know how to win, and um, I, I make sure that I'm very fit for the fight. If someone cannot train like I do, then we cannot compete, mm-hmm. whether you are mm-hmm. skillful or what. Yeah. If you cannot put the kind of work that I'm putting in the gym, yeah. then you are not at my level with the skill mm-hmm, that mm-hmm, you can have. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So... Um, it's there's a lot of challenges. Right, yeah. There's a lot of challenges. You know, you are fighting, and then sometimes you know I always see like the coach, what is the trainer talking to you? Young we are bad. We are bad on up. Depends. You know. Depends the trainer, mm. the way. Um, mm-hmm. How are you bonding with your trainer? Right. How is the trainer understanding you? Mm-hmm. How is the trainer seeing the fight? Can mm-hmm. the trainers tell tell when you? Got hurt? Can the trainer tell when you are still feeling good? When mm-hmm. can the trainer tell when when you can't do something? Right. If the yeah. trainer is going to be shouting at you and say, "Do A and B and C and D," mm-hmm. and he doesn't understand or he cannot see mm-hmm. what is possible mm-hmm. or not to do mm-hmm. it because mm-hmm. we're fighting different people. Right. Yeah. We can train this in the gym and say, "Okay, we're going to do this combination whatsoever." But when you get into the ring, it's mm-hmm. not happening. It's yeah. It's not doable because the boxer also is here to fight. Exactly. Yeah. They want to win. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. want to win. Mm-hmm. So it's a competition. How are you going to do? How do you adjust you guys now? Mm-hmm. But if the trainer is now looking mm-hmm. at the fight, yeah, understanding their boxer mm-hmm. and can see, and when you come back to the corner and then you, they sit you down and say, um, "No matter my trainer now that I'm training with mm-hmm. is." 
he was my former trainer is not in my trainer again mm-hmm. cuz i left him from east london okay chief mzamu chegani yeah yes yes so i left him and then i came to jobek mm-hmm. jobek to america back mm-hmm. to jobek train with other people and then i back to him mm-hmm. cuz i believe that he understands me mm-hmm. and he knows what i can do he knows what i cannot do mm-hmm. because the most important thing as a boxer is to have a trainer that will understand yeah if you can do something or not right yeah when you come back to the corner the trainer must not shout you to do what they want you to do, to do yeah if you cannot do mm-hmm. but they must at least tell you how you can do something else mm-hmm. to cover whatever you need to cover in the next round mm-hmm. so uh we can hear them sometimes we don't hear them mm-hmm. most of the times when i was training with other trainers that i know i would just listen and say yes but i know it's not going to be happening Mm-hmm. This what is talking to me about. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. But I will see what I can do. I can do, do. Can do more. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, um, many boxers that are coming from either East London. Mm-hmm. Boxing is Le Bombo, East London, and, yeah. and the bit of KZN. Yeah. So many boxers that are in Jobek, mm-hmm. they're from East London. Right. They're from Le Bombo side. Le Bombo, yes. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then a bit of KZN. When those boxers come from wherever they come from, mm-hmm. they know boxing. They've been taught boxing from amateur. This side is business in Jobek. Mm-hmm. The managers and trainers that are here, they doing only business. If mm-hmm. you come with less boxing, you live with less boxing. Mm-hmm. If you come with a lot of experience and boxing, mm-hmm. they will put fitness and mm-hmm. you can be the best boxer ever. You know, you know, I mean, I, I'm always fascinated. In fact, I got fascinated by um, uh business you know uh, if you, you know you hear you know these people about you know I'm in business you know I'm yes. in business and it it it, it what it it it, cons- it made me curious that hey man, these people they always talk about me I'm in business I'm in business what is this business ever cool man you know and but- then <clears throat> I went to a couple of seminars and I think one thing that I found in in Google, all these seminars is that they they always give advice you would when you get into business you've got to keep trying over and over again and now i look at you you know what i mean first and foremost i mean with the fights maybe if let's say as an amateur as you are coming you know what i mean basically you had to lose this fight but go back yes. lose this fight and then go back you know what i mean do you find which is like in that you know there is almost like sort of like a a step by step process that one can use when they want to be business people because it's all about trying over and over and if ever you were going to think oh you was going to mind you also even you know you would franchise there you fr- do you use that skill of get you know doing things yes. even in your business it's um boxing is is business mm-hmm. and um to some people they don't see business in it yeah but uh once you are in in boxing mm-hmm. but be- before you can do boxing in business you have to love it Yeah. yeah before you yeah. can do business in boxing you have to love boxing first yeah, yeah. and then do business later mm-hmm. so what you are saying is that um now i'm in business mm-hmm. and in boxing at the same time because mm-hmm. i love boxing right <clears throat> but i'm now doing business with boxing because mm-hmm. uh, i have a gym that mm-hmm. i train people like everyone yeah namje yeah, like with the yeah and then i'm also using the same gym to mm-hmm. train myself for my boxing business which is my career my career is to fight okay yes how mm-hmm. do i make money in boxing mm-hmm. how do i make boxing my business right um you have to perform best mm-hmm. yeah for you to perform you have to work hard right and um you can lose but the most important thing that will make business for you into the next fight mm-hmm. will be how you how you performed in the last fight mm-hmm. and how you making business in boxing is who wants to watch you how many mm-hmm. people can buy tickets to come and watch you mm-hmm. what can promoter get when they promoting you mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then that will make you obviously get better 
business mm -hmm. in terms of making money in boxing. Mm -hmm. So we, if 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 you can just say, um, you lose one fight and mm -hmm. you don't come back and fight, you come back after a long time and then you fight another fight and you look mm -hmm. bad again. There's nothing you can do again in boxing. Yeah, so yeah. you need to just make sure that after a fight, if you lose, when you come back, you surprise people with the beautiful performance mm -hmm. and then people can notice that no maybe there was a problem then mm. nah. so now let's again give him another chance give you another chance that's, then yeah. that's when you do business that's when you're making money that's how you do uh business in boxing mm -hmm. and also it helps because mm -hmm. now we have like the the spirit of fighting yeah and we understand because we fight almost every day when we're training for the fight at least three days of every week, I go inside the ring and fight with someone. Mm, so mm. if I can be discouraged by those things, because I'm going to get hurt. Oh, I mean, they beat then. you. Uh, but, yeah, but, but we better. fight, seriously. Yeah. Sometimes we find that the, the, the gym is even harder than the fight. You know? I tell you. Because <laughs> you get hurt in the gym. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you get an injury and you can't fight. Mm, because mm. when we're training, we need to make sure that you are ready for uh, the fight. To do a challenge, you know, to, yes. take, to take, to take. Because we the, don't the, the know beating. how is how is the fight going to be. Mm -hmm. So if I'm training with you, mm. we are training for a fight. Yeah, I need to beat you because I don't know the opponent. How is he going to beat you? So I mm -hmm. need you to be aware of what is coming to you. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So we have that thing. We have that thing of we we fight. You get beaten and you want more until mm -hmm, you can mm -hmm. get it right. Mm -hmm. Until you can get it right. Then sometimes you'll find that, that I go to a fight. Most of the time it's been happening to me. Mm -hmm. I'll train hard in the gym and I'll work hard and feel like, nah, this is hard. This is difficult. And mm -hmm. like I feel like I want to quit this thing mm -hmm, mm -hmm, by mm -hmm. training. Yeah. When I get to the fight, it's like two minutes. The fight is over. Mm -hmm. I knock the person out. Two rounds, the guy is out. You know? Mm -hmm. So the fight is easier than the... Training. The, 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 yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, the training is harder than the fight. The training is harder than the fight. The fight, yeah. when you get into the fight, everything mm. just looks so easy. I'm going to cut clean this one. Oh, yes. Mm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, How many of you got children? I've got children. I've got yeah. kids. I've got two. I uh, five-year-old boy. Mm. And uh, how old is my daughter now? She's four months. Okay, okay. Yeah. Now, the, your daughter at that and full Nami full Ah, no, not now. No, but uh, when, it's, when the time boxing. is ready. Ah, yeah. no, I don't even want them to go to boxing. You know, I've, why, I've, why, why? I've experienced boxing. Uh, it's good for me because mm -hmm. I understand. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think my, my kids will understand the pain that I've been through and the things that happened into me into boxing. But what if they love it? I yeah, if they love it. Mm. I don't want them to do boxing because, because I you was boxing. Yeah, okay, okay. I even told my, my, my cousin mm -hmm. that you cannot look at me and say, mm -hmm. Nomeva is the champion. Right. And think boxing is going to be like that to you. Yeah. Boxing is different. Mm -hmm. It will treat you the other way and it will give you what you put in. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to train, because if you're going to be a boxer because you see, like my child, my, my my daughter or my 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 son, mm -hmm. train boxing because I'm a boxer. Mm -hmm. That's a wrong move. Yeah. Because he's not gonna be me. There will never be another me. Mm -hmm. And um, he won't do, or he won't be as lucky as I am in boxing. Yeah. Or he won't work hard as I am working. Or he won't understand the the pain. Because at the end of the day, I don't want to lie. My 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 son mm -hmm. and my daughter, mm -hmm. they will never suffer like I was. That's it, yeah. So, Bona, they will not, uh, they, they, they will you, never you are have, there to make yeah, it better. They will for never them. have the drive that, the, that I you had, had because yeah. I wanted to change my life then. Ah, I hear you. Yes. I hear you. Bona, brother, they will never get to that. I will make sure. Mm, yeah. My brother, thank you very much, man. Yeah. Thank you for sharing your insights, you know, and your experiences, and even for making the time. You thank know, you. Uh, thank you, my brother. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, there you are. You know, every young man out there, it's all about what you put in. You know, you put garbage in, it's garbage out. If you put something valuable inside of yourself, inside of your heart, 
your spirit, your mind, a hey, it will give you the best. Well, this is me, Salomakakanube, saying toodlu, arrivederci, bye bye. Salam kabutin salikakle.